Leonardo da Vinci, Caterina Cornaro, and Mona Lisa. One does not need to be a scientist to have common sense. What is required is to be curious and have your eyes and mind open. Every one of us has its time machine. It just needs to find a way to launch it. The fuel is an unexpected encounter, not by chance, but by vibrations we all radiate and the receptors we all have by birth. If you do not believe, I strongly suggest starting sharpening your receptors. It will help you to start feeling deeper. From the moment in September 2017 when I saw how professional people and real enthusiasts of Cyprus Institute presented their findings of the 16th century portrait of Caterina Cornaro, the last queen of Cyprus, in Levendio Museum of Nicosia, with the title The Secrets of a Royal Portrait, I felt that more secrets are surrounding the lady who marked the Cyprus destiny. I remember a comment of one very distinguished gentleman whom I admired a lot. He said, it would be better if we stayed kingdom. The seeds I planted some years before, out of curiosity, started to grow that night, producing fruits in the form of putting in motion my time machine. I was inspired to learn and feel more about Caterina Cornaro. Inspiration is the guiding idea to continue learning and connecting facts history left with us. Intuition is born when you combine curiosity with inspiration. So let me make a statement. Even that today's known history and today's known science will react or most probably ignore, I am making an assumption. Mona Lisa is Caterina Cornaro. It's not out of the blue, but I will present with you some of my feelings and some of my findings to support that Mona Lisa is Caterina Cornaro. The story begins in 1481 when then 29 years old and still not a well-known artist Leonardo da Vinci arrived in Cyprus through the port of Amagusta. We do not know how did Caterina and Leonardo meet. Still, we know that Leonardo went to Lefkara village and obtained a famous Lefkara lace, maybe as a present from the last queen of Cyprus, Caterina Cornaro. She was 27 years old then, a widowed woman from 1474, losing both her husband, King James II, the bastard, and her only child, a son, King James III. Years later, Leonardo da Vinci used Lefkara lace to commission the Last Supper mural at the Dome Cathedral of Milano. One common sense person can only imagine what two persons, 27 and 29 years old, one talented artist and one lonely, Mona, Moni, Moni, is lonely in Greek, woman, as Katerina, were talking and doing at this magnificent island with breathtaking sunsets and sunrises. The complete story will be presented to you in the following video and will be left to grow till the revelation where the legend becomes the truth comes. Leonardo, Caterina, and Mona, lonely woman, Lisa. We kindly ask you to subscribe to our channel in order to see following videos on time. Thank you very much.